Hi everyone, today I'm at KB Motorcycles test riding this beautiful Royal Enfield Super Media 650. This is a bike that they have completely customized with some beautiful, beautiful tech parts. Matter of fact, tech has sponsored this episode, so make sure you go check them out. They have provided all of the parts that you'll see in this video and you have seen in episode two of the build where Jonathan in the workshop has professionally fitted all of those parts, like those beautiful mirrors here, which they complement the look of the bike very, very well. Totally blacked out, front end uh, then you have a um, clutch arm cover a radiator guard passenger foot pegs completed with the led front and back indicators and last but not least this beautiful canon silencer right at the back that makes the bike sound so much better than stock in fact why don't we start it up and hear what it sounds like Absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. The Tech Cannon silencers are one of the best exhaust systems you can buy out there. As you guys know, I own a Royal Enfield Continental GT650 and uh, we actually worked with Tech before installing those performance parts and uh, remapping it through our partners, BHP UK. Uh, nevertheless, I'm gonna test ride this bike today and I'll give you my in-depth review of it. So yeah, let's get started. And so here we are, just stepped on the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. Uh, I mean, guys, this exhaust sounds absolutely amazing. What a trick. Thank you so much again, Tech, for sending us these amazing Canon silencers. They just make it sound so good. Absolutely love it. Now, we're actually on our way to BHP UK to see if they can remap this bike. Just like what we did for my Royal Enfield uh, Continental GT650. Well, why don't we get started by talking about its seat position? And uh, you know what? This this bike is so so familiar to me. Um, I mean, I pretty much have ridden cruisers all my riding life, except for some you know the odd sports bike here and there. And so it is very very familiar to me. I mean, we got forward foot controls. Uh, a low sea height that makes this bike obviously very very comfortable for long journeys um, it really the only thing that it misses for that is a little windshield but we're gonna find out here on the highway uh, what that feels like as well without the windshield um, you know riding this bike for long distances oh man this exhaust is just so good it's so well balanced uh, the weight distribution. I mean, yeah, it is a bike that weighs just over 240 kilos, so it's not the lightest of the bunch, uh, but it doesn't, obviously on the go, it doesn't feel uh, heavy, lumpy, or anything like that. This engine is, you know, the character that comes out from the engine makes up for all of that. There's just enough torque to pull away uh, with ease on these bikes, and uh, even coming to a stop, no problem whatsoever. The handlebar position as well is quite neutral, so your back is completely straight. Obviously the true test here is highway riding. You know, I've got to say, if we keep it below speed limit on the highway, which is 70 miles an hour here in the UK, um, you know, the bike is very, very smooth. Click six gear in, it's very smooth, vibration free. The engine has more than enough power for the overtake as well. We can try that now without even have to go down a gear or anything. We can just overtake in six gear with ease. Now the wind protection on this bike is actually okay, you know, it's not too bad. But yeah, definitely would fit a little windshield on there, uh, just so we can deflect the wind a lot better for those long journeys. It's always just been the interceptor in Continental GT, so I'm really glad to see this bike hitting the market now and um, blinked up with tech parts like these that is just phenomenal. I mean, these mirrors, I gotta say, it's 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 hard to find bar end mirrors these days that uh, offer this level of, uh, of visibility, but this is so, they're so good. And they look so stylish as well on this meteor. Very, very nicely done from tech. The sound that comes out from the exhaust as well 
very very throaty nice oh wouldn't i love to just see how much power we could get out of this 650 if we remap it there at bhp uk i would love to see that and in fact i'm going to head out there now to see if the guys can um, read the ecu and uh, can can get that job done um, and remember from my uh, Continental GT650 with the tech exhaust, we managed to get 50 horsepower at the back wheel. That's major gains right there. That's 20% more power at the back wheel. I love you. <laughs> this exhaust. Oh, yes. It adds a lot more character to this Royal Enfield. Today, it is just clicked in 25 degrees at midday. It isn't the hottest day in the UK, but it definitely uh, you can feel some heat coming out. Also, this 19-inch front wheel um, coupled with the suspension, Showa suspension now, big piston forks, you know, it does an excellent job at soaking bumps and uh, gives you so much feedback. Um, you know, even when braking proper hard, let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that not much diving you know not much diving not as much as you would expect from a cruiser of this class you know remember the price point of course it's not it's not going to have much in terms of equipment and uh, rider aids um, it's got abs and this little tripper navigation from royal enfield which is actually quite uh, quite useful it doesn't have you know traction control and whatnot The ECU is a piece of cake. They can remap it, so why not? Would you guys want to see a video, a proper video on uh, remapping the Super Mini 650? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, guys, I think it's about time to hit the twisties a little bit. So just after giving it a little bit of spanking that you guys just saw, I've got to say that, yeah, you know what? It's at the top end, there's still a little bit of a kick in it coming from these uh, these 650 twins, which I really, really enjoy. Um, obviously, it's not as performant as my Continental GT650 for a number of reasons. Obviously, uh, starting from the fact that it is uh, just about 30 kilos heavier. As I mentioned before, mine has been completely remapped as well. So BHP UK is able to remap this bike. So inquire about it if you want. If you want a full development video remapping this particular 650 from Royal Enfield, let me know in the comments below and we'll see if we can make it happen. Oh, Brake-wise, this bike is equipped with the vibrate brakes. Uh, they are sub-brand from Brembo, but obviously they work pretty pretty good given that the bike weighs just over 240 kilos, as I mentioned before. So it comes to a stop pretty easily. And, uh, you know, the, the rear brake is actually quite fun to use as well. It does have quite a chunk of power in there. Uh, on top of that, the suspension, I think, is a, uh, an upgrade from the um, already existing in the 650 range from Royal Enfield. So the big piston show off works uh, do have quite a lot of, do offer quite a lot of stability at the front. On top of all that, I think we need to mention its competition. In this market, the 650 from Royal Enfield um, does offer something that um, others don't. For example, the Kawasaki Vulcan S doesn't quite match up with the level of uh, character and feeling. <laughs> this bike just makes you feel really good. You know, it, it kind of reminds me of the Americans, of the Indians and Harleys of the past, without being too obnoxious, obviously. Uh, Performance-wise, 
it obviously doesn't match the Kawasaki Vulcan S it's offering um, with a lot less power two up I think you'll be all right you know uh, touring on this bike um, if you fit a little windshield on it it'll be all right uh, but it's just not going to be the same sort of um, experience you might get from uh, from the Kawasaki and the and the Americans if you're okay with having just the 45 horsepower that this, bike, that this bike offers then you know what this is the best bang for your buck i mean obviously if you've got a bit more money i would probably lean towards getting a speedmaster from triumph just to sum this all up guys i mean tech has done an absolute phenomenal job at um, you know providing some really really quality accessories for your bike and so I, I would definitely go check them out down here in the description below you'll find a link that will take you to tech uh, tech's website where you can find all the parts that are in the have been fitted to this bike kd motorcycles are continuously looking to build more bikes in the future and i know they have planned to uh, to fit different handlebars to this bike and uh, um, rework the rear end of it uh, to make it look a bit more like a bobber as a super bobber but um, unfortunately with timing we they haven't really gone around that yet so it's not impossible so definitely stay tuned by subscribing to their channel to my channel because uh, if anything um, else is worked on this bike it's been fitted on this bike you'll you'll find out here uh, first but that's it for me guys in this one and i will catch you in the next one